Hey guys, today I'd like to show you how to play Sage on Ascent. Let's start with some useful world boost. Let's start in front of the B side, right here. For this boost, you wanna stand on the crates with the fishes and aim at the roof. And you wanna place place the wall at the highest point of your jump. Something like this. And then you can see on short. And if anyone is peeking, you can headshot them. You can have your wandle or whatever you want. However, this jump is pretty difficult to do, so I recommend you to try it in, in custom games. For the second one, you wanna get in the tunnels, stand on top of these blocks, and when you are pretty much in the middle, just place your wall under you. That way, you can pick a market, a little bit of a little bit of stairs, and even in the whole side. If someone is here yeah. on the stairs, you can kill him, or even in the back. This is very useful for getting on site, or it can be handy even after post plan in post plan situations. If you are defending B, I'd recommend you to try something like this. I find this wall boost pretty interesting. Because this is a really unexpected angle and if they are gonna push from from the tunnels you can get easily one or two picks. You can place the wall even something like this. However in this one you will be a little bit lower, however you can hold different angles with it with it through the fence, so you will be even harder to spot. And you and you will wall this off with it. So yeah, you should give it a shot. On, from spawn, you can do something like this if you would want. Uh, just stand in the corner and go like this. This is pretty hard. They are you are fully visible for them. However, this angle is really unexpected so you can get one or two kills as well however they can spot you fast and you can get flicked on if you are playing on a and you know they're they have pushed on b side and it's they've already planted you can try this trick you want to place the wall as close to the wall as possible so that way it's still visible on the right side something like this and then go behind the corner and you can already see on site. However, you can go even more to the left, and you can see in the, in the back of the side as well. So that way you can get some picks if you if you get lucky. And it's hard for them to spot you, and it's really unexpected. There are plenty of ways how you can use your wall on eight side. First of them, one of the most basic ones is something like this. Just block off the entrance for on a side and you can use it even as a wall boost and get on top of here. And you can be scouting for them if they are close to the wall. Another one that can be useful, you can do this right here. You can hide behind the behind this crate. And can see there they can only see top of your body you can even crouch surprise them with the peak get a kill just jump off and change your position and try to hold it somewhere else same works for generator as well just get here and you can be watching them push and waiting for them in tree what i like to do is place my wall right here so that way it covers the whole way and they can push. You can use this as a cover for for the push on A or if you hear them destroying the wall, you know they have to be somewhere here or here. So you can just pick it and, and kill them. If you are attacking A side, you can block off your left side with the wall so that way you don't have to worry about clearing it, clearing it and just check the right side and watch heaven and you can worry about it later on so this is pretty useful I'd say if you are attacking B side uh, the best wall that you wanna do as an attacking is 
something like this. There usually here will be a gap, but you can try to place even more to the left. However, you will reveal yourself more from around the corner, so be careful about it, you can get killed easily. And if you do well like this, you will be covered from market and from city and you can push on site and then just clear it here and only worry about push. And only worry for, for push from the stairs. And what I like to do with Sage on mid is just to place wall simply like this. So that way I have the possibility to jump on top of it and this just uh, stops them from pushing mid easily and you can hear it if they break the wall. So yeah, I like to use the sage wall mostly on mid. Let's start on A side when you're defending. There are few wall boosts that are pretty useful I'd say. First one is in front of the, in front of the showers. Just a pretty basic one, just place wall like this. And it, this gives you opportunity to jump on top of this crate yeah. as well, otherwise you would not be able to. So that's the first one. Another one, if you want to be holding showers or mid, you can stand behind these boxes, behind the triple, and place it like this. So that way you can crouch behind this and be watching this, or you can see the whole shower if you want. Another useful wall boost would be right behind this car like this this also gives you opportunity to peek middle however you can go more in the corner and be watching this angle in showers if you are defending and you expect mid push you want to do something like this and you can stay on the wall and peek above this only your head will show will be shown you can do the this on the other side as well if you wanna peek them. Just build your wall like this. And jump on top of it and try to clear some angles. So that's about A side. On B side, there is few interesting wall boosts that you can use. First one is here in the window. Just get here and place your wall like this and jump and jump to the right. That way the wall will block off the whole window and you will be given this edge right here and on this edge you can jiggle peek to watch long or you can hide here and wait for them to push and even try to get some kills in here because this here you won't be expected. Uh, another wall push that you can do one can be right here you can just place the wall like this then you can go here and try to hold it with it or you can be watching here doesn't really matter this this is useful for holding off the long or the pen or the octagon you can do something like this as well just be in this corner you can be watching here or you can jiggle peek to octagon or watch just over the roof that way you will all as well it will block off the long I mean block off the elbow so they cannot go there. And lastly something of a one-way wall or how you would call it. Just build wall like this. And you can be back in this corner and be and be watching here. You can yeah. see their legs and you can see pretty far up to here. Or you can be standing in the back of the site it on this crate and be watching as well lastly here is one more wall that can be useful just get here do your wall and it could be you can be picking them from here and you can always go in the back you can try to hold from the other side it's really up to you first boost that you might use is this one simply place your wall right here and on 50 and you can peek on top of this you can peek into heaven or you can just check side if you are defending and you want to use some useful trick however this is hard to pull off because they can see you you have to get on this crate place your wall under you like this and then you can jump on top of this shelf and then you can just break it right here. so that way they won't expect it 
and you can see them cross here and wait for them. You have first blood accuracy, so everything is fine. If you're defending, they are more useful boosts. I mean, the wall, wall places. You can do your wall like this. Then you can peek behind this box or you can stay on top of it. And this also blocks off the entrance. You can do the same thing right here. Like this. Also, you can peek it or you can jump on top of it and try to be watching this one. From heaven, you can jump on top of this box and then you just want to place a wall under you like this. That way you get a very unexpected angle right here or you can try to be peeking along as well. If you are already on site, you can use this boost to see in the heaven, into heaven. You can be standing right here and just be waiting for them to come here. They will only see your head and won't really expect anyone to be right here. So you get the moment of surprise. You can also be watching CT with this, but it, it doesn't get you so that you can see deep there. If you wanna be playing behind the side, you can get to, you can try this angle works for both sides and you can have your teammate to go with you as well on B side there are simple three simple boosts first one is this one just place all this wall like this you can always jump up on jump on it and then you can also get on top of these crates and be jumping wherever you want on site that's the first one the second one is behind the side yeah, you just have to be standing on it and just be right here and you can be watching window. You can be even on here, but you will see them on the top of their heads and if they are yeah. hugging the back wall. And when you are here, they can only see a little bit of your head. Or you can go a little bit further, just jump on top of this, the wall below you. And you can be hugging this wall and you are... Your head will be very small, so it would be difficult for them to hit. And if you have operator, that would be really good for you. You can get easy picks, like just like that. If you are playing garage and you want to place the wall right here, the best way to do it is like this. Uh, you would usually do something like this, but that's not that useful. You can do wall like this. That way, if they wanna get in, they have to break multiple blocks, not not just not just one. On C side, there are, there is few boots that might be useful for you. First one will be blocking of the C long, like this. You wanna stand in the back. You can be watching them for and waiting for them to push. You can even jump on top of the box and see them destroy it and get a free pick. Or you can be waiting behind the side, like this, and trying to be with it. And if once again, if you have operator, that's the best for it. They won't have that much time to react, and you can get easy kill. And lastly, if you are, if you know that they are pushing C, you can try this unexpected angle, just place wall below you, and you can be on top of this these ice, blo ice blocks and waiting for them above the wall they will see the blocks right here but usually they won't react that fast to flick on your head first one that I that can be used is to placing wall right on to the on top of this pot on the stones on the grave up there and you can be what well, you can check hey but if you know that there are players speaking they might be holding the operator and you know that they will be there this can be useful and all they could see is you in this your head in this gap so it's hard for them to spot even if they are scoped it's impossible for them to spot you if you are rushing side you can use sage's wall place it like this and then you can jump in heaven like this and surprise the enemies if you are defending, you can try to use 
after a while to do something like this. Try to beat this corner. This is very unexpected. The enemies will usually pre aim here and won't expect you to be on top of this. We can do the similar thing, just a little bit closer. Like this. Works the same, however, on this one you are higher. And if they are pushing here on site, you can even try to do something like this. That way you will be hiding behind the pot and when you are crouch you are they cannot see you can go even a little bit further just to hold this or you can wait for them and try to get kills that way. In my opinion the best way to use the sage's walls is on middle. When you are defending you should always do this. That way you stop the push from middle and you get the control of it. And uh, one benefit of it is that you can always jump on top of it and try to pee with it. However, be careful. This is usually expected and enemies know that you might be there. Uh, if you are attacking and they have always mid cover, you can try to do something like this. That way you can see here or in this corner and you can surprise them with that. You can boost more people, you can, two people go with you. So. That way you have pretty much one kill always, you get that way. If you are defending B and you are here in heaven, there are a few tips that I, I could give you. One of them is that you can place a wall like this and run in front and then just break it after you so that enemies cannot expect you here. You can be in this corner and you can be waiting for them to push and get easy kills. This is a great of angle. One, one more, one useful word that I like to use is to do something like this. You can jiggle P here and once again this is great of angle. You can be standing in the back waiting for them wherever you want. You can even be watching this. This is really unexpected and it, this gets you go literally every time when they push here. One very simple wall here, wall here on B, is so works like this. You just block the entry, entrance to, to B side and you can use it as a wall boost to get here. Uh, if you wanna go, if you have operator, great, great angle to hold is this one. Just build your wall like this and then hold, hold them and wait for them to push on B. You can, they will just tr maybe try to peek and won't expect you to be here. here. So we are most likely won't get shot. If you are attacking B side, the best wall you can do is this one. That way they won't see you from heaven unless you are really in the back. And if you go along the wall, they cannot see you. And you can get on site easily without the trouble of wanting to check heaven. Just you have to be careful when you get here. Wait. 